Well, for the first time in 10 years, the Hillsborough County Commission will not present a commendation to the organizers of this year's Pride Parade in Ybor City. That's because the commission has a new policy. As Creative Loafing reported this week, the new policy enacted last September requires six signatures for commendations that are deemed controversial or sensitive because they address matters of political controversy, ideological or religious beliefs, one's individual conviction, or address matters which do not serve a public interest. Only four commissioners signed the commendation, three Democrats, Pat Kemp, Harry Cohen, and Gwen Meyer, and one Republican, Board Chairman Ken Hagan. Three other other board members, all Republicans, Joshua Wastel, Michael Owen, and Donna Cameron Cepeda, did not. So, Jacob, my question is sort of t uh, adding on to what Ben said. If you've got this influx of Republicans, you've got a bigger in, uh, Republican influence in Hillsborough County, the county is tur turning red as we speak. Um, is this the trend of the future to see things that were commonplace over the last nine years now not be so commonplace? I, I, I think definitely. I mean, uh, Democrats still have an, a voter registration advantage in Hillsborough, but what we've seen here is that voter turnout uh, among Republicans is just much, much higher. And so um, this this new commission, this new majority has already taken a lot of steps um, to kind of change things that used to be commonplace. I mean, all the way down to like funding of the arts, the stadiums, affordable housing, they've made multiple efforts to ax that uh, and to wade into to certain fights like restricting um, access to certain library books, et cetera. So I, I think that it, uh, Hillsborough County is definitely trending that way. Hmm. Brittany, is this the right position to take? Should they not sign the commendation because the commendation's controversial in some quarters in Hillsborough County? Yeah, I mean, again, I think the government should stay out of issues like this. This is more of a, you know, everyone talks about how they want the government to stay out of their lives, stay out of their personal lives. You know, pride is clearly, it's how people live their lives. It's who they're attracted to, who they're married to, how they celebrate their sexuality. The government should have no place in that. So I think that it's the right position. And, you know, we worked extremely hard, the Tampa Young Republicans, to flip the Hillsborough County Commission this year. Joshua Wastel is a member of our organization. And so, you know, we back him and the other Republicans on this move. You Clearly, you know, Tampa Pride is a huge event and it's celebrated and it has been for a really long time, but the government does not need to be involved in it. Ben, would you agree? I just keep asking why this is controversial still. Like, why, why, uh, why are we still uh, in a position where we're deciding whether someone's lifestyle is or is not up to our standards? Um, and that's what they're doing. They're saying in this instance by not signing this that they disagree with uh, the Pride Parade. And if you've ever been to the Pride Parade, there's no better celebration of humanity, of coexistence, of fun, uh, peace. Uh, this is a good thing and should be accommodate, uh, you know, should, should be commended when, when uh, given the opportunity. Um, I think this is a wrong track. It feels old and dated and musty, and I'm surprised that young Republicans are involved.